Hello, this is my 99th video on helping people study for actuarial exam 2 to do problem solving for that. We're again doing a starred problem 4.1.24 like I did in video number 98. We'll be finding the selling price of a bond. In video number 98 I introduced Makeham's formula for the price of a bond. Here in this problem we will get some practice with it. So we will be using that formula. It is possible to solve the problem without Makeham's formula, but it is also a problem where using Makeham's formula works nicely. So we've got a bond with a face and redemption amount that are the same, 3,000. We assumed F and C, the face and redemption amount, were the same in the last video to write down that form of Makeham's formula. We've got annual coupons where the bond is selling at an effective annual yield rate which is equal to twice the annual coupon rate. Okay, so here we've got a relationship between the yield rate J and the coupon rate R, uh, that one is twice the other. That's sort of a hint that Makeham's formula uh, in the form, one of the forms at least that I showed you la in the last video is, could be useful. R over J is going to be a constant. The present value of the coupons is equal to the present value of the redemption amount. The goal is to find the selling price. So what did Makeham's formula say? Makeham's formula says the selling price, P, is equal to K, where K was the present value of the redemption amount, plus R over J, R being the periodic, in this case, annual coupon rate, J being the periodic, in this case, annual yield rate, times in parentheses C, the redemption amount, minus K, where again K is the discounted value of the redemption amount, C times V sub J to the N, uh, where V sub J is the discount factor 1 over 1 plus J. All right, so let's think about this here. We know what R over J is, uh, the effective annual yield rate, J, is twice the annual coupon rate, J equals 2 times R, and therefore R over J is R over 2R is a constant 1 half. So that's one thing that is a hint that maybe Makeham's formula would be useful. Let me keep the K unspecified at the moment. R over J is 1 half. C is 3,000. So we've got C to be 3,000. There is now a formula for the price in terms of K. Can we figure out K? Well, K is C times V to the N. That would be 3,000 times V sub J to the N. If now we could find V sub J to the N, to the N power, we could finish this problem. So let's see. Maybe that's a hint that we need to use something that has not been used yet. What have we not used yet? It's this sentence here. The present value of the coupons is equal to the present value of the redemption amount. We have not used that yet. Present value of the coupons would be, in general, F times R times A N J. For this problem, F is the same as C, is 3,000. We don't know R, we don't know J, but we do know their ratio. Let me go ahead and put R in there and put the formula for AN. And then, yes, we can write R over J again, like this. And once again, R over J, just like before, is equal to 1 half. So this becomes 1,500 times 1 minus V sub J to the N. And that's supposed to equal the present value of the redemption amount present value of the redemption amount is K is C times V to the N is 3000 V sub J to the N. These two things have to equal each other. We can solve that equation for V sub J to the N power. We can divide everything by 1500 to get 2 V J to the N equals 1 minus V J to the N. Therefore V J to the N, or 3 times it, would equal 1. So Vj to the n will be one-third. We can now plug that in back up here. K is going to be 3,000 times one-third is 1,000. Let me go ahead and write it up here. K is going to be 3,000 
times one third is one thousand. And now we can substitute that in here and here to get the final answer for the price. The price is going to be one thousand plus one half times three thousand minus one thousand. That's 2,000, 2,000 times a half is 1,000, 1,000 plus 1,000 is 2,000. The final answer for the price, the selling price is 2,000. Do note that that is smaller than the redemption amount, which is 3,000 here, which shouldn't be surprising since R over J is less than one, it's one half. R is less than J. In that situation, the price will be smaller than the redemption amount.